Something students ask me about a lot is how to get fluent with their slap technique so that they feel like they can improvise patterns and improvise lines without getting uh, thrown off. So in my opinion, the best way to do that is to just start learning different patterns. So I just want to start you with a couple basic ones today. A really simple one you can do is just alternating between thumps and hammer-ons, or really left-hand slaps, but I tend to use those terms pretty interchangeably. So I'm just going to go thumb, slap, thumb, hammer, thumb, hammer, thumb, hammer. So what I recommend you do is, either with a drum machine or a metronome, drum machines are a little more fun, is to just run this with a beat. And really work on getting that slap audible too, just so that you can make that noise. And then once you get comfortable, just gradually speed it up. And then you can start throwing in some other patterns like I was there. But basically, just thumb hammer, thumb hammer is a really good way to get the coordination between your hands starting to happen. And then you can do more uh, complex variations that have two thumbs in a row or two hammers in a row and make your rhythm a little more interesting. But just start with thumb hammer, thumb hammer, thumb hammer, etc. Another really simple one is just to do thumb pluck, thumb pluck. So thumb with your right hand thumb, pluck with your right index finger. And an important thing to get about this movement is that it's all, the pluck is part of the upward movement of the thumb. So when you do a thump, your thumb's naturally going to bounce up. And when that happens, you can just sneak your finger in there to do the pluck. It's not much extra movement. So you can either do it muted like this, or you can apply, do open strings. Or you can apply some notes to it, like I'll just play a, an octave on an E here. Thumb pluck, thumb pluck, thumb pluck, thumb pluck. And this can be really useful too, very simple but actually usable. So again, with the metronome, find a speed you're comfortable with, and then just start speeding it up. So. That's two patterns that you can run with a drum machine or a metronome and just get them as fast as you can get them and as smooth as you can get them. Don't make them fast before you can get them smooth. Smooth is more important.